Welcome back. Well, the markets are more or less flattish, but uh, let's uh, get you some sound bites as well uh, that are coming in for appliance makers like TV, refrigerators and conditioners. The festive season that spans between August to December is by far the most lucrative of the year. These months typically account for around 30 percent of the full year sales. CNBC TV 18's Shilpa reports that this year is of more significance as it comes after two disappointing seasons. And manufacturers are hoping that the Cricket World Cup will add that extra bounce to the pitch. The festive season of 2022 and the summer of 2023 did not give consumer durable manufacturers and their dealers much to smile about. The summer months of April and May, when air conditioners and cooling appliances are usually in high demand, actually saw sales fall 25 to 30 percent despite heat waves and a delayed monsoon. But August, the beginning of the festive season, has given players reason to hope. 15th August uh, was super bumper uh, this year. And I'm not talking in terms of sales alone, because sales every year, 15th August is good. But this time we saw the maximum number of footfalls coming in and converting into sales. I feel the consumer is in the mood of buying. And uh, hence, we expect a good season this year, something which we have not seen, I think, in the last few years. So what we are expecting starting from 15th, that is the first Navratri, till uh, 19th uh, of November when the World Cup finale happens, we expect this year at least anything growth of 20% and above. Heavy interest in online shopping festivals is also giving brands confidence. Amazon, for instance, says more than one appliance was bought every second in the first 48 hours of its online festival, and half of these were premium appliances. Similarly, one TV was bought every second, with demand being higher for large screen and 4K TVs. The boys in blue have played their part in preparing the pitch. Typically, we do not consider this as a good retail period. But given the World Cup fervor, uh, I think the consumers are buying into televisions right now. So we've had a fantastic response uh, on the online sales uh, that we are seeing right now. But at the same time, we are also seeing a great response in offline. Premium products continue to do better than mass market products, a trend that has been visible for a few years now. During the festive season, by and large, mid and high and premium products sell. And we hope that once we move into the beginning of the next year, season, mass will pick up again. But in our industry, over the last few months, we've seen a bit of a slowdown in the mass segment. Unlike the usual flurry of discounts and gifts, most brands and retailers are betting on EMIs and easy consumer financing options to make appliances more affordable this festive season. The hope is that such a move will not only attract new consumers towards high-value products, but it will also encourage upgrades. Now, an other added advantage for appliance makers is that unlike the last few years, there is no overhang of rising input costs this year and that could translate into higher margins. In Mumbai, Shilpa Rani Peta. Interesting one out there. But let's get a pulse of how things are moving on ground. To help us out with that, we're going to be joined by the management of uh, VMart as well as uh, Raymond to discuss how festive season is shaping up on the whole. Let's go across to Mr. Amit Agarwal first. Uh, uh, the group uh, CFO at Raymond. Uh, hi, Amit. Morning. Thanks so much uh, for joining in. You know, I'm just looking at uh, some data points that my colleague Surbi has given us. She's saying there are around 35 lakh weddings in 23 days between November and December. But, uh, you know, what kind of feedback have you got at your stores? Is there, you know, enough traction? Or are you seeing some signs of slowdown? No, absolutely. I think we are seeing a similar kind of attraction. And actually, it is very evident as you saw that the Navratri first day happened on a Sunday of this week till Saturday, uh, it was basically the Pitrapaksh and the people were not buying. And we have seen that the, as soon as the Navratri started, the footfalls in the stores have increased dramatically. And if I compare to a Sunday sales of the last week to this Sunday sales, it has seen across the country moving from 25% up to 45% up on the same day basis. So it is actually we are seeing and all the dealer, distributor, franchises have been talking very, very positively that this time what actually retail has not been doing well for last six, seven, eight months is going to see come back with a vengeance, so to speak, in the next from November, October onwards till the month of March. We are seeing a full recovery coming back into this period. And okay. effective sure. with all of our lined up at various stores. 
Got it, got it. Uh, Lalit Agarwal is also joining in. He's the founder and managing director at Bmart Retail. Uh, Lalit, good morning and thanks for joining in. Um, how has the start of the festive season been in terms of demand? And can you tell us, give us some details on what are the you know demand trends that you've noticed so far? Good morning, Sonia. Uh, yeah, definitely cheers are up and festivals uh, are on. Uh, we started seeing the first sign of festival right from the markets in Eastern India. That is what Durga Pujo market is all about. So uh, it's, it's at the peak of Durga Pujo and then we are seeing good response in Eastern India. Uh, we have noticed some growth over last year as well in the same stores. And, uh, and we are seeing, we are excited about this festival and we believe because of lot of lot of things getting assembled into this quarter three and uh, including festival winters and weddings so this quarter three is going to be a very good quarter and we should see a very good growth coming in mm. okay so Agarwal, sorry uh, this period aside i mean you know uh, just to kind of tie this in with slightly uh, longer term trends we just had the government data the labor force participation survey which was released it's an annual thing and uh, what it kind of confirms is that, you know, while uh, the number of people who call themselves employed has, has, has gone up, it's seen a good growth, but it's mostly in the self-employed category. Uh, if you look at the quality of jobs, which are, uh, you know, well-paying jobs, I mean, that is actually, uh, uh, it's, it's fallen. Uh, that is not uh, doing very well. And this is, uh, I'm talking about data from F518 uh, or so all the way uh, till F523. So just your thoughts, sir. I mean, how this impacts, uh, you know, a business like yours, because, uh, you know, uh, that, that's, that's the kind of uh, slightly longer term structural story here. So I understand and, uh, sorry, uh, Prashant, we, we, we definitely believe that most of our customer and more than 60% of our customers who are in tier three towns or uh, the hinterlands of, of, of Bharat, uh, are, are largely self-employed people. And that's how the, the economy runs in India because that's how the Bharat economy is all about. Because we don't have too many offices, we don't have too many uh, you know, uh, industries uh, around the, out there. So we, th that's still coming up. But yeah, I, I believe still uh, the, these data because these people are self-employed and these are the people who employ people. And, and that's how the data gets released. I don't know uh, what's the government data talking about because still not too much of uh, formalization has happened over, over that job employment market. But I think there is a lot of uh, good news coming in uh, people are employed we are not able to find uh, uh, you know, uh, ample of people on our stores when we open up a new stores we definitely find it difficult now to get the the employees getting recruited we have seen some attrition coming in so that, that's that's yeah. showing up the demand of of the economy in the in the economy where the job is is available and employment is available so people have to work and then they're they, and, and i think this is a lot of good news that is coming i don't know the data that you are saying i have not gone through that data but i think uh, the self-employment going up itself is a great news for the economy. Got it, got it. Uh, just before I go back to Amit, uh, Lalit, I wanted your thoughts on some numbers, right? When you say that festive demand is picking up, sales have increased between 30 and 40 percent since Pitrapaksh. Uh, can you put a number on the same store sales growth? What has it been in this quarter so far? And compared to, say, the preceding few quarters, you know, has the average gone up? Just to understand. You're asking me, Sonia? Yes, Lalit, this question is for you. But definitely. See, I mean, we have seen in Eastern India, at least I can say you that I mean, we are seeing greater than 10% of same store sales growth being recorded from a festival to festival perspective. But we, we expect a more uh, more sales to come in because now the winter is also kicked in. Uh, we had seen rainfall only two days back. So the chill factor has come in into the north in northern India. And as you know, VMART has a large base in the northern India sector segment. So, so we would we would expect a lot of sales coming in, even from the pre-winter and the winter products. And that's going to be adding up the, the sales in the in the in the coming festival. So so we are we are very hopeful here. Okay. Uh, and Amit, I wanted your thoughts on what kind of sales that you are expecting this wedding season, considering the you know record high weddings that we are expecting to have, especially in ethnic ethnics. Uh, you know, what would the sales growth look like? So actually, you know, the ethnics we have got almost ninety-two stores now ready to service the market, and based on these stores, we expect a very strong increase. But it is just about two days what we have seen where the sales have increased dramatically. I think we will have to wait for another 20 to 25 days to see how people are coming out and shopping. And then it would be the right comparison in terms of numerics to say that this much is an increase we are expecting. But what we hear from our dealer and franchising network is 
that it is going to be a very strong season, comparatively even better from the last year. Could you put some uh, numbers uh, to it, uh, Amit? You know, this season as opposed to the previous season, what kind of growth? So, look, it is very difficult at this juncture to talk about it because it's still to see, come back. And because the, it is just two days of the festivities have started, I think we will have to see people coming to the stores. Maybe another 25, 30 days, we would have been in a better position to talk about the no, numbers. And we will ask you again in 2025 20, days. <laughs> But sure. given feedback from dealers, etc., uh, you know, what's 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 your sense? I mean, a ballpark uh, range, this compared to the well, previous one. Compared to the previous one, we are seeing positive trend. To put a number is difficult at this juncture. Okay. All right. Uh, putting a number is difficult. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Lalit, uh, would you want to do that? I did speak uh, you about mentioned it. the 10% figure. Hmm. Yeah. We are seeing a, almost a 10% figure from a period to period growth because uh, the, what we say Durga Puja to Durga Puja, now we'll focus on Diwali to Diwali. So that's how we track it. And we are seeing a good growth coming in. Was this uh, not recently, but they say pre COVID or uh, this used to be much higher, right? In the festive period? So, so this is festive to festive, Prashant. You please Correct. understand this, what we are comparing is festive to festive and not week on week or month on month. Correct. No, I'm saying that in prior years, before COVID, what uh, was this was this growth rate festive to fe in the festive season? I mean, sales used to uh, go up sharply, much higher than 10 percent, or is is 10 percent? Uh, you know what you used to see earlier as well. So the base also has that 10 percent growth, which which we got last year, or whatever six percent growth that we got last year. So on that base, we are seeing another growth coming in because see, uh, post COVID, we never got back to our original sales, and we are expecting this year that we will surpass that original sales and that's what we are uh, the entire industry is expecting because that's how the, the lower part the lower strata of the economy because the monsoon has been very good uh, there have been good news coming in inflation rates are going down so i think you know vegetable prices are going down so all of these factors which actually pull down our consumerism the, the basic bharat consumer these should actually give, bring benefit this year so that's that's the expectation that we have during this festival because this time the customer is going to come out and spend and and, and fulfill most of their wishes Okay, all right. Uh, thanks a lot for that, gentlemen. Uh, have a great festive season and uh, hope both of your businesses do well this time. Uh, I'm Amit and Lalit. Thanks for joining in on the show.